Hey guys, Devin Walker here, lead developer over at WordPress and a developer on Maps Builder Pro. I'm going to show you the settings screen as of version 2.0. Um, right now you can see I'm on the Maps Options tab. If it were my first time visiting the screen, I would see a um, welcome screen, which would show me useful information such as um, documentation and support links. Right now you can see I'm on the default tab as mentioned and uh, some of the options here are the Google Maps API key which is not a required option. If you do configure this uh, for yourself you can uh, track usage and such. It's quite um, useful for uh, many situations. Uh, you can see that I also have the map size, map location these are global options and when I create new maps within Maps Builder Pro, um, the new maps that I create will inherit these global options. These are configurable on a per map basis to keep in mind. Um, some of the pro features that we have that aren't in the free plugin are signed in maps and the ability to select the map language. Um, so for instance we have all sorts of languages here if i wanted my maps to be in russian i could set that here um, or i could just use the user default which is the preferred method for uh, selecting the map language it's just to use the browser default of the user um, signed in maps are also very useful your users can save locations that and markers that you create um, and those locations and markers will have a link and mention of your site on their Google Maps. So it's very useful for to get uh, more clicks back to your site. Um, signed in Maps, very powerful feature. I'm going to hop over to the General Options tab now. And some of these options allow me to modify the post type slug of the maps that I create if I am uh, utilizing that single post type. I can also move the menu position here in my admin um, below the settings or wherever I want according to what I set it as. And you can find out more information by clicking on these links as well as uh, specify whether I want an archive or um, to open the Maps Builder um, live customizer um, by default, which is a great option to have enabled. So I'm just click Save Settings and now you'll see that I have it enabled. The system info tab is useful for support reasons. If, uh, if you do need for so, uh, support, we might ask you to uh, download this file and send it to us or copy and paste this information into a um, topic on our website, wordpress.com. Um, it's just some useful information about your install configuration, some of the themes and plugins you have. Um, active or um, with it on your website. Over at the license tab, you can see that I have uh, my license information here activated and that way I can receive support and updates. And um, if, if there are any sort of other additional um, tabs enabled, you'll see them right s alongside uh, the license tab here. Um, or you might see more options uh, within these tabs in general. Um, so that's a brief overview of the settings as of version 2.0 of Maps Builder Pro. Thank you very much.